Ever thought about where the name California popped from? What if we say it's inspired by a legendary black queen? That's correct. The shiny name of the Golden State harks back to a mystical island governed by a fiery black indigenous queen. Now meet this queen Calafia, who burst into the world in a Spanish novel, Las Sergas de Esplandian, authored by none other Garci Rodriguez de Montalvo. Dive into this high-spirited tale of a time filled with knights and kings, thrilling battles, and mythical beings. Welcome to the island of California, inhabited by indigenous black Amazons who rode griffins, all under the command of Queen Calafia. This intriguing queen, who formed a formidable army of women warriors, has left her footprints on the globe, starting with the christening of California State. So, are you pumped to dig into this compelling story? Strap in, because we're about to embark on the electrifying journey of Queen Calafia and her Amazonian empire. But before we get into this epic story, we want to take a quick second to tell you about our special limited time offer. We are giving away free copies of our newest book, 13 Black Scholars, who admitted there were black people in the Americas before Columbus. This exclusive offer is our way of saying thank you for your incredible support. Dive deep into history with us and uncover truths that challenge what we've been taught. But hurry, this offer won't last forever. Click the link in the description and grab your free copy. Now let's get back to the video. Queen Calafia, a character of fiction, ruled over an island filled with black Amazons and mythical creatures. This island, known as California in the novel Las Sergas de Esplandian, was a place where griffins roamed, and an all-female warrior force held sway. The queen of this unique dominion was Calafia, a charismatic leader with a fiery spirit. Calafia's reign was marked by her bold decision to align her Amazonian force with the Muslims in a monumental battle against the Christians in Constantinople. This was a defining moment not only for Calafia but also for the narrative of the novel. The queen, a symbol of power and independence was now a critical player in a broader ideological war. However the tides of battle turned, and Queen Calafia was captured. But even in captivity she held a certain magnetism. Her captors, rather than eliminating her, chose to convert her to Christianity. This conversion marked a significant shift for Calafia, but it also had profound implications for the women of her island. Following their queen's lead, they too embraced Christianity, and integrated with the men to form a new kingdom. This tale of Queen Calafia, filled with adventure, battle and transformation, caught the attention of many, including the famed explorer Hernan Cortez. So captivated was he by the story that when he set foot in what we now know as the state of California in 1530, he named the land after the island, from the novel. The story of Queen Calafia is not just about a name, but it's also an exploration of how medieval society grappled with concepts of race and religion. Despite the prejudices and stereotypes of her era, Calafia's character shone through as a symbol of power, resilience and transformation. And this captivating tale, believe it or not, played a significant role in naming the Golden State. Beyond the medieval text, Queen Calafia's legacy echoes in the modern world, this legendary black queen, once confined to the pages of a Spanish novel, has now permeated popular culture. Disney's 2001 film, Golden Dreams for example, features Whoopi Goldberg as Queen Calafia, a tribute to her enduring influence. This portrayal not only brings her story to life but also cements her as a powerful symbol of black womanhood. Queen Calafia's name thriving in the state of California serves as a constant reminder of her strength and leadership. She stands tall as an icon of powerful black women, her story serving as a beacon of inspiration for generations to come. Her legacy, while rooted in fiction, carries a potent truth about the power of storytelling in shaping our understanding of history and identity. So, the next time you think of California, remember the legendary black queen behind its name. Queen Calafia, a testament to the power of stories, continues to inspire us all. This journey through America's hidden black past is just beginning. If this glimpse into a world lost to time has captured your imagination, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more adventures into the unknown. Lastly, for more information about the names and subjects mentioned in this video, get your copy of the Amazon best-selling book series, 19 White Men Who Admitted There Were Indigenous Black People in the Americas, and 13 Black Scholars Who Admitted There Were Black People in the Americas Before Columbus, by Chase McGee. Link in the description. Stay curious and keep exploring.